Okay. There's literally someone like talking outside, like beside my window. I I don't really hear what they're saying because you know it's outside though. Like, okay. <laughs> Maybe they're just like having. I never had my like, on phone call, but I can't really hear what they're saying. Obviously, but it's just like annoying. I feel like my videos are boring. Like I just be putting makeup on and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, pee. I'm gonna pee this. Okay, yeah. Just be talking and stuff, and like, there's not much going on yet, so it's giving normal, like everyday makeup. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know how. Like, this whole situation got me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> like, there's no situation, actually. I'm just, I'm tripping. But yeah, I'm like, okay, I should be doing. I did not expect to be, um, cold <laughs> as much. So, I definitely like, found it. Estimated the weather. Um, I don't know why I'm saying not though, like it's nothing new. It's just I'm like underprepared for the winter this year, so I'm gonna have to. Yeah. I'm gonna brush my teeth look real nice because I. I know that's gross. Usually it's the first thing I do. But I'm like, I don't really have to technically like wash it. I mean, I do wash it every day, minimum every day, right? But it's like, I don't know. Like, the bathroom is so far. so far from my room i'm used to having a sink or something so the fact that i have to walk to my room from my room to the the bathroom yeah that's yeah a little too far for me like taking a um, this shower on the first floor usually I go downstairs but it's like I don't know I don't feel like going downstairs like I take a bath and a shower but now I have to chill because I'm like okay let's chill let's just take a shower I'm gonna take it probably on the first floor and see how it goes but yeah because it's kind of limited like it's nice and stuff but it's very limited like if you're a little bit taller if you're a little bit taller let me see who's outside like i'm a little curious like i keep i keep hearing someone talking and stuff but i don't want to just open it and like but 
but I'm just so curious in general. Oh, uh, okay. So, it's not a neighbor. It's actually just, like, a homeless person, but it's, I think, because I'm, like, I, I was thinking it was the neighbor. It was someone doing the leaves and stuff. I just figured out my windows. I was confused. I was like, wait, people can see me from outside. Like, how am I supposed to, whatever. And I used to leave it like this, right? And there's, like, the patio thingy, whatever, outside where you can smoke. And, like, when someone was smoking, I didn't know. So now I'm like, oh, okay, it's like that. It's like that. <laughs> it's not like, yeah. It's like that. That makes a lot of sense now. Um, I washed my wig. I... How do you say combed it i let it dry i feel like the secret to having like a really nice soft wig is just let it dry like when you're washing it instead of like swiftly like putting your towel in your hair just i mean your wig or whatever just let it dry on like a towel or a cloth or like a t-shirt and it's gonna be so soft like i'm touching it right now i'm like wait this is so soft because I bought it super soft and then it got really like rock, <laughs> rocky, rock hard, like, but um, yeah, now it's super soft, you know, that's not creepy, but yeah, it's like super soft. It's just like the ends that are a little dry, but once I get like a formula for it or something, the hair is going to go back to normal and like a hot comb. I keep talking about hot comb, but it's like I've discovered it technically like a few years ago but um i used one like two months ago that oh my gosh like my wig that i was thinking of throwing away i used a hot comb on it and i was able to use it for like one more month just because i was like okay this is how like the baddies be doing it because it's like i see videos on instagram of like girls doing like wigs and stuff and it always had that hot comb thing like I'm like, oh, um, that's why. Because I didn't really get it at first. I was like, do I really need to do all that? But a straightener is not enough. Like, even a blow dryer, like, is not enough. Like, you need to have a hot comb and it's cheaper. Most of the time, it's like, most of the time, it's cheaper than an actual, like, straightener. But, yeah, so, mm, one thing that I wonder is because, like, so when I left my parents' house, right, I left a lot of my things. Like, most of my things were in the house. But then they sold the house, right? So they sold the house, and then now they live in Montreal because whatever. But I'm like, I remember specifically that I had a straightener, a pink straightener. And I used to find the craziest things at, like, random dollar stores, like, things that you can buy at like walmart ew but i would find things that were like four or five dollars that are worth like 20 or more and i would just go to random dollar stores like that would, that's my favorite store like i keep saying that like it's not a joke like i <laughs> like i <laughs> it's my favorite store like i don't get <laughs> no chanel no prada like <laughs> okay um it's my favorite store so i, I sometimes i would gaslight myself into like exercise and then going for a walk and stuff and the way that i would do it is i would tell myself like okay i'm gonna go get food or something i'm gonna get something at the dollar, dollar store so i would find random locations of dollar store and just walk i would just walk to them like and it could be far like 45 minutes could be 30 minutes could be an hour i would just walk to it because i know that at the end it's like a, a reward like you know when you're delayed reward it's like a psychology thing okay so it's like it teaches you first of all to kind of be patient for things that you want to have right and uh, to be able to wait for them because usually when i want something i want it right now i'm like i want it right now like <laughs> i don't want to wait it's like for food or like anyways anything like a snack or junk food uh most of the time it's like i could wait the next day but i want to eat food right now it could be like 1 a.m like i want it right now and doing that kind of made me like wait for things but sometimes i don't care like i'm like okay i want it right now i'm gonna get it right now but yeah so i would go to like random like dollar store and stuff like whatever and 
the most random places they had different things i'm like i'm pretty sure this is not sold by the dollar store like i feel like some owners they just throw things in their store like and i'm like hmm and i've never ever seen that straightener in any other dollar store but it was like pink and black it costed me like maybe five dollars four dollars and then i've never seen it again ever ever again i've seen like a blue and white one but that one is disgusting like, it's not even good but that one that I bought, it was owned by like a Arab man, like the dollar store. So they had like a bunch of like beauty stuff that I've never seen anywhere else. So I bought it and it was like a portable one too. Like it wasn't like the normal size, like it was like half the size. So you could put it in your handbag. Like I would bring it everywhere. So like just in case for my wigs and stuff, for my hair. But I don't know where it is. I'm like, did I lose it? Like, I don't know if it's because my parents moved and then like, because they gave away a lot of my things, right? But I think it's because it's probably when I put myself uh, myself I put stuff in like storage rooms and stuff. And anyways, so um I'm like damn like where I don't know where I left it. I'm like you know I'm really hoping that I can find a like it was so cute like a pink imagine like a pink like. It was black and pink and the exterior you couldn't burn like it was just on the interior and it was small so i could put it in my bag like oh my god it was perfect and i'm like I, it could have fit the aesthetic that i'm going now which is like very i don't know i'm like older so it's kind of weird to say that but i wanted my aesthetic to be pink so it's like i got a lot of pink stuff okay now we can't really see it because i'm like you know i'm just moving but yeah, I'm a little pressed because I'm like, wait, where did I put it? Oh my god, my eyes are like, when I, there's a mirror in front of me. So I'm like, okay, it's kind of odd, like, seeing myself, like, seeing myself, like, mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just, like, chilling and stuff. Um, oh yeah, I have, like, another, I have a bunch of stories that I could tell, honestly. Like, I've always had, like, things happening. Um, the most recent thing <clears throat> that has to do, because I'm craving pizza, okay, so I want to eat pizza. Like, we'll see how it goes, but, um, there's, like, a Domino's, okay, the closet, uh, the closet, <laughs> the closet is crazy. The closest, wait, this blue is so cute, but yeah, the closest Domino's, um, like, from here, it's a little far, but from where I was staying, it's, like, kind of, like, the same. And, um, I go there, like, a lot. Like, I used to go there, like, once every week, once every two weeks. So, I would kind of see the same people working there. And they kind of get, I mean, some people probably recognize you, some people don't. Like, it doesn't matter, right? So, I'm, like, whatever. I'm not thinking about that. So, I'm going to the store. I'm going to the Domino's. I've been there, um, with my friend before like i actually started going because of my friend last year and um we had like a little date situation like at the domino's i usually do not eat at the store because it's like there's only like two tables and stuff so there's no point to it and it's so small well i feel like you're just in someone's kitchen you know so anyways, um, I would go like once a week and stuff. And then this, this guy, he's like black, right? He's like Jamaican. I mean, he told me he's Jamaican, but um, and I'm going there, whatever. And then a couple of weeks ago, he was like, oh my God, like that's you. Like you're the girl that like I saw before. And I was like surprised because I'm like, he never really says anything. He tried to, a couple of times he tried to like make small talk and I just kept it short because I'm like, I'm only here for like pizza, right? So, I mentioned this before, when I go out by myself, I keep it short. Like, I go to specific places, so it's like, first of all, I'm alone. Um, And most of the time, it's like kind of later during the day, so I'm like, okay, I'm not going to try to be friendly and stuff. Like, I don't know, whatever. And he was like, oh my goodness, you're the girl. I mean, he didn't say it like that, but he was like, oh, you're the girl. And then every time I come in, he's like, oh, Helen, oh, Helen. So, um... I'm just, I keep it very, like, keep it cute, keep it very short, keep it, like, 
hey like hi hey hi hey like that's it like i'm not gonna be like chit-chatting and then um like two weeks ago i go in right and it was like later usually he's not i notice like patterns too like but i went right before they closed for like in store but i'm pretty sure they keep the the store keeps i mean the store the restaurant keeps like um the delivery going i'm not really sure like because sometimes i see people it's still working like because i would um i would go for walks and stuff and most of the time when i get pizza it's because i'm like wasted right so i go in there a little tipsy and every time i drink you it's not even funny every time that i don't know why i'm craving pizza like i used to not really like pizza that much because like we had a lot of pizza like when i was anyway it's a long story but i had a lot of pizza like because my parents were always working like whatever so it's like a lot of leftovers and stuff like that like not leftovers but a lot of like pizza and da 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 so i just like grew up not really liking pizza because we had it so much <laughs> that it was like okay but um now when i'm like drinking i'm craving pizza like i'm craving pizza like this specific one and the only pizza that i like is domino's pizza brooklyn pepperoni extra pepperoni domino's pizza brooklyn pepperoni extra pepperoni that's it nothing else i've tried other pizza i've tried other flavors i just don't like it i don't like it like it's fine like it's just kind of like not the same so <laughs> first of all <laughs> okay first of all i go into the store the restaurant i keep saying the store but the restaurant it's like Helen, like kind of like he recognizes my name. I'm like, oh my god, this is embarrassing. Like, I don't know why. And then I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, hey, like I keep it like very hey. Like I was like, oh my god. I was like, hey. And then he's like, oh yeah. Um, is that your order? So we're like small talk and stuff. And I'm like, oh, where are you from? And he's like, Jamaica. And I, where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm. I say Tanzanian Congolese because I am Tanzanian Congolese. Like, I was born in Tanzania. My dad is Congolese. My mom is Tanzanian. So, I'm like, you know. But because my dad is from Congo, I'm Congolese. But I've never been into Congo. I wish. I wish I would. Like, I could go, actually. But um, it's, like, logistic, okay? If someone plans, a, like, a trip for me, I'll go. It's just the whole thing. I'm, like, gives me a headache. And also, I might be, um, I might be afraid of, like, flying. Because I've, obviously, I've flied before. But it's, like, that's, like, a long destination. Okay, so. And whatever. Okay, so, um, he's, like, yeah, I'm Jamaican. Da, 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 and he asked me for my Instagram. And I'm, like, oh, okay. Um, I don't know why. At first, I was, like, mm, I don't really have that many people on there. Like, and it's true. Like, I have a lot of views, but I don't. I actually don't follow a lot of people and I don't like have people following me back because it's like I created a whole different Instagram with a different name. Um, It's not on my like with my name. It's like a like a stage name. Like it's not my real name because I just don't want like I don't know people like that to like follow me and stuff like I, I want new people to follow me like people that I don't know in real life. <laughs> like I don't want my family on there and stuff. No offense. Okay, so um he follows me and stuff and then like I give him my phone and he just puts his name and stuff like so he could like follow me. And then I get my pizza. That's not even the part I was talking about. Like that's fine, okay? Like I'm walking with my pizza and I'm like, wait, let me open get a little get a slice while I'm walking because it's like a five minute walk. I'm opening the pizza it's extra it's it's sausage <laughs> i i ordered sausage sausage like i get it it's both like pork but it's like do you understand the devastation that i felt like anyways it's not a big deal but it's like it's fine i was like wait i was like no <laughs> like no i know but anyways yeah um I, w I was like meant to order pepperoni 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 okay and because i was like wasted okay 
I clicked on the app because I, I usually just do it real fast because I'm like, oh, okay, same thing. I slide on an extra sausage. What? Sausage and extra sausage. Oh, my God. Actually, shoot me. But, yeah, I was like, okay. Like, I opened it and I was so shocked. I'm like, what is this? And I almost went back. I was a little upset like wait did this guy mess up my order like i don't understand and the thing is like the oh okay, yeah um the thing is like yeah i was about to go into the store and be like you messed up my order like i don't care about many things but when it comes to food i really don't care about many things like you know what i mean you can forget my name you can like i mean unless the only thing that like um irks me about my name is people that write my name without my accent I find it very odd, especially if you've seen it before with accents and you write it without accent. I find it weird. But usually it's like you can forget my name. You can like call me a whore. I don't anything. But if you mess up my order, like my food order, oh my gosh. Oh, so I was like, I was about to be upset, right? Like respectfully go ask for like, you know another pizza but then i i was like okay before i like embarrass myself and i cringe i'm gonna go to the app and see if that's my order and it was it was my mistake it was my mistake i'm very sorry like it was my mistake i actually was so say that i was like i was thinking i'm clicking on pepperoni but it's like it makes sense because pepperoni and sausage like both like pork so it's like one after the other but I was devastated. I ate it still, but I was like, what am I eating right now? Are people really eating that? Like, sausage and stuff? Like, like it's pork, but it's just, like, wrong, you know? It's wrong. It's wrong. And the thing is, like, the most embarrassing extra sausage. <laughs> Why does this happen? <laughs> like... Pira, you know, like she falls that. Oh my god, he would have, he must have been like making the pizza. <laughs> like this girl <laughs> is ordering extra sausage. Like she's, in, oh my goodness. Okay, girl, should see my life is funny. My life is so funny. Like I can't even, I can't even be mad or depressed because it's like always shit like this that happens. And I'm like, wait, that's so funny. <laughs> But yeah, so he must have been making my pizza. <laughs> and they like this bitch loves extra sausage. Like, oh my god. Because he, okay, to be for real, maybe he kind of, I didn't even notice his like facial expressions. So I don't know if he looked at me weird when I like picked it up. So I'm like, extra sausage, sausage, that's crazy. Like, anyways, so yeah, I had to share this because then he added me. Well, I mean, he added himself on my phone and then he only accepted me like a day later <laughs> like babe you added yourself like i don't know that's very i've had like people do that too like they ask me for something i give it to them and then they make me wait like a day or two like that makes me a little like just see bow like i've had a guy ask for my number and at first i was like no he asked for my number for like five days okay because we were texting on an app. I was like, no, I don't feel comfortable. Like, I don't want to. Because I've had, like, stalkers and stuff. Like, whatever. I don't want to talk about it. But, I've you know, people that, like, abuse the, like, the call button. They call you, like, 20 times a day and stuff. Like, I've had people like that, too. So, I was like, mm, I don't feel like sharing my phone yet. Like, I need to see, like, what type of person you are first. Because I don't want you to block. I don't want to block again. Like, block, blah, blah, blah. So after five days, I give him my number. This man waited two days to text me. Two days to text me. And I was confused because I'm like, wait, didn't you ask for my number? Like, it wasn't me, like, being like, oh, let's keep in touch. So I was just kind of like, okay. I After two days, I was like, okay, maybe he just was not interested or he, for, or he lost my number. So I just moved on. Two days later, this man texts me. He's like, hey, how are you? what are you doing want to do something and i'm like and he did it on purpose it's not like you know if he would have been like oh my goodness i'm so sorry like i took so long to text you because this 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 and that even if he was lying at least like acknowledge you know 
even if you're lying like it's it's a man like okay you know and i didn't really expect that much but he's like texting me he's like kind of talking to me like nothing happened i'm like it's just to humble me like it's nothing else just to humble just to kind of feel like oh i'm gonna wait two days ha 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 like let's see if this girl's gonna you know type vibe because i've had guys tell me that like they're gonna wait i think it's like a dating rule that maybe i did not know like am i not like in a loop but he texted me and then um i'm like oh you waited two days to text me like okay um and i was like i'm out like it's fine like i don't want to play you know like that type of game is just odd to me but the thing is i didn't even give him my real number uh, because something was telling me like mm, this is this man is not serious like <laughs> i gave him my second number it's my date uh, my like number that i give to guys that i meet on dating apps and it's not my real number it's like my it's an app that i have and you have like a free number whatever so like if you're broke or something or you don't want to give your real number just use it just use that app like text now so i have that app and that number so guys that i'm like not serious about i just give them that number right so mind you like him texting me after two days thinking boom like i'm about to humble this girl and i'm giving him not even my real number so i was like <laughs> i did not tell him that by the way i was just i did not say like oh this is not even my real number because what's the point you know so i was kind of like um i was like oh okay like um because he was like yeah i'm busy so i'm like okay i understand that you're busy i don't want to bother you um we should end this like stay busy you know and he was so upset because he was like oh my god like i just waited two days da, da, da. it was like talking to himself like because i didn't answer after that i didn't answer because there was no point in arguing with the man like you don't want to argue with the man like no but he was talking to himself <laughs> like, he was like oh my gosh i just waited two days like what's the problem and he's like are you not really gonna answer me hello <laughs> like i didn't because i'm like okay and i forgot anyways because it's not my real number um if you're someone that's like really emotionally attached really fast just use that because like once you have that app and you give that guy that second number you're going to forget even to text back because i it happened to me where i give my number and i'm like why is this this guy not texting me and stuff and I realized I gave him my second number and I'm like, oh shit. And I go on the app and I see messages and stuff like, I'm like, oh, okay. Like after a day, I'm like, wait, why is he texting me? And I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, just a, just a trick. Okay. But probably like if you are actually dating, like to get married or seriously, yeah, just <laughs> good. Like dating seriously on dating apps is like it's possible because i've met people that like are married and stuff like from that or like married like whatever like you know dating for serious um i feel like it's different for black women like i don't know it could happen like and it happens but it's just like you have to really go like through vetting like vetting the person like making sure everything is right okay let me just see okay i'm gonna be right back but Something is irking me right now. <laughs>